I cannot stop selling these. This is a green man. This is a character that started out showing up in sort of medieval, and I guess 12th and 13th century England. And this character was a part of everyday kind of folklore. It would represent um, a man covered in leaves who would kind of lead the path of alerting the people to some sort of an event. And uh, it was sort of ubiquitous in English and a lot of parts of Europe, a lot of other cultures. And so, you know, it symbolized nature and this sort of wild man. In fact, the term wild man uh, was originally what was deemed as green man. Green man was a later term attributed to it. But, you know, this character often associated with alcohol because the dude was obviously wasted out of his mind. If he's walking through the woods covered in dirt and leaves, he's not likely sober. Uh, or I guess the other alternative is he's a real nature guy, you know, a real hippie out in the woods. Um, more like, think REI employee, outdoors people. Um, you know, the reality is the green man uh, has been used and appropriated in so many ways. Uh, the Catholic Church utilized the feature of the green man in their architecture, putting them on pillars and posts and supports. And this was a very architecturalized version of it, very symmetrical on both sides. Uh, these versions were the most bland versions. They were kind of fun to see, but uh, then, you know, you see this character show up uh, later, of course, in distilleries for reasons we talked about earlier, right? <laughs> the kind of symbol of the drunk. And so, you know, it's, it's fun to see how even in the modern uh, interpretation of the green man, you know, still showing up in, uh, you know, artwork and still showing up in distilleries across the U.S. at least. I'm not sure about England. I'm sure it's the case. But uh, it's this fun and kind of interesting historical character that melds the worlds of nature and human portraiture. And it just, because of that, makes for such an interesting carving. I am so uh, enamored and interested and uh, just, uh, just received so much satisfaction from carving these characters. And Another thing is the interest that we find in, you know, art is so often separated from what sells. You know, like the things that us, that we creative people and make things for a living find interesting and fun and at the edge are almost never things that sell. And what's great about the green man is it both is something that people uh, enjoy making, including myself, and it's also something that people enjoy buying. And so that's a great combination. The green man is something that if you're a wood carver and you haven't tried gives you the opportunity to practice your profile you know stuff your 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 capturing of the human expression there's so many ways that you can fit the human face into a green man but on top of that it's a huge uh, practice in you know organic stuff too like like leaves foliage i mean you can do all kinds of things you can replace these with feathers replace them with uh you name it i don't know uh i've seen people do uh, i think it was lucas cost do one with um, boughs or uh, of, uh, uh, evergreen. There we go. Evergreen. Yeah, and there's just a lot that you can do with these and they're so much fun. And I hope that you try to carve one. But, you know, it's amazing to me how the varieties of these things uh, show up. You know, the different types show up everywhere. And I've been, again, doing this for almost 20 years now. I've been carving these green men. In fact, I thought I'd pull out one of my first ever green men to show you guys. This is a green man <laughs> carved, uh, it was probably 12 years old. This is one of my first ever bark carvings, first ever carvings in general. Uh, and you know, I, can tell I got really into the painting aspect of carving. I remember making this and just uh, having so much fun. In fact, I think this was the second one I made. I think I sold the first one. Uh, just so much fun to set these little characters in wood and paint them. And uh, it was the joy of my childhood carving these little characters. So. That's, and if you'd like to learn, if you'd like to learn how to do uh, these green men in the manner that I have been carving them for years, uh, many have uh, made versions of the green men that I carve, and there's resources I've created. I've created direct uh, workshop, you know, online lessons and workshops for folks, all kind of uh, housed in the website that I've linked below. It's a school, really. It's Fundamentals of Wood Carving. It's the uh, kind of outlet for these instructional videos that I make. I make uh, at least one of them a month and their high quality, in-depth lessons on how to carve realistic faces. Tons of green men on there, uh, at least a handful of green man projects. So if this sort of character appeals to you uh, to capture one of these kind of wild little people, 
uh, then yeah, check out the school. I've got lessons on that, and it's in the link below, along with many other things. But uh, anyway, guys, be blessed. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one, and uh, take your vitamins. <laughs>